What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. Today I have for you a big box good. That's right, today we're going to be taking a look at a pair of blue light glasses I picked up at Walmart for $16.88. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing and a first impressions. There are a few concerns I have about these glasses, such as how they will look and fit on my face. These are just a general pair of blue light glasses for the office. They are styled appropriately, so you could take them out uh, to work and people wouldn't know the difference. But my concern, like I said, is because they are general purpose glasses, uh, they are pretty much sold for everybody and anybody. How will these fit on my face? And last but not least, how will they work looking at the computer screen for a few hours? So now I just wanna preface this video by saying Walmart no longer sells this brand of blue light glasses. This is a brand called Wave Balance. I picked these up about a month and a half ago. It's just one style, two different colors. There's a clear color, and then there's sort of a grayish clear color to give them just a little bit more character. Uh, but they do sell other brands and similar styles. Some are a little bit more expensive and some are actually cheaper. If these were $16.88, I'm pretty sure I was able to find a pair for $11. So even though you can't buy this pair specifically, uh, you can buy other pairs from Walmart. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get into this unboxing and first impression so we can pretty much get a good idea as to how these fit and how well they work. This is actually a great idea. I am so happy to see that uh, these are starting to become popular. Uh, we are spending countless hours in front of computer screens. I know that when I sit down to edit these videos, I am sitting down for sometimes two or three hours at a time and staring at the screen. Uh, I have a very large, bright uh, 5K display and it really does draw you in and it's absolutely stunning. But the drawback is obviously it's not good for your eyes. So these I think will definitely come in handy. And one thing I really love about these, what really caught my eye at the store was the fact that they were actually pretty stylish looking. As you can see, we get a pretty nice plastic box here. Uh, these were pretty inexpensive. They were $16. Let's go ahead and get this box open here. Uh, as you can see, you get this beautiful clear color. I'm being cautious not to touch the lenses themselves. So I think it's pretty much safe to assume that they are a one size fits all. But like I was saying, if you have a big head or a small head or maybe an asymmetrical face, how exactly will these fit? Will they look good? Will they be comfortable for a long period of time? Uh, what I can tell you here is that even though they do feel lightweight, I think your first impressions are going to be that they are a cheap plastic, but I think that's actually a good thing because that should actually make them pretty comfortable whether you've got a smaller head or a bigger head. Uh, this plastic actually feels pretty soft. There's no stickers or any type of weird residue or anything sticking out on the sides of them that would actually make them uncomfortable. They're pretty much all plastic. As you can see, the arms are clear, but there's no uh, loops at the end to dangle them around your neck, for example. If you do have a much larger head than normal, you don't have to worry about these fitting on your head too tight. Uh, you can actually see that they have a ridge for the bridge of your nose. And then if you actually look at the top of the glasses here in between each frame, you can see there is a little nose piece there that would also sit at the top of the bridge. These are a very popular style of glasses. They actually look like a pair of Ray-Bans. But one thing I think about the clear pair here is that people are going to pretty much wonder why you're wearing a clear pair of glasses. I have never seen someone wear a pair of clear glasses. You would pretty much have to be an eccentric to wear something like this. So even though they are stylish and they do somewhat blend in, I think they also will stand out a little bit, which is why they do offer them in a different colorway. So here, as you can see, we have them in this gray clear colorway. These look a little bit more normal, but they are exactly the same size from what I understand and they are exactly the same style. So let's go ahead and just rip off some of this plastic wrapping back here. So this pair on the left hand side here with the gray at the top, I think this is probably what you'll wanna lean towards because 
they definitely will blend in just a little bit better. Yeah, they're not entirely clear and they don't look entirely eccentric like the clear pair do. And I would say that uh, these actually are just a little bit different. Uh, the folding mechanism on the clear pair was just a little bit better. This pair is maybe just a little bit tighter. Uh, you can actually adjust the stem of the glasses to pretty much any angle and they won't fold shut. So as you can see here, I'm pretty much stopping it at whatever angle I want. I was just talking about the hinge and I just quickly wanted to grab my handheld camera here to give you a closer look because I don't think you'll be able to see from the top down shot all that clearly, but you can definitely tell there is a difference between each hinge. On the gray pair, it's a much smaller hinge. Now, even though these are all pretty flexible glasses, they're made out of the same plastic, they're lightweight, I would say that the clear pair actually are meant to bend outwards, say if you have a much bigger head, as where this pair, as I did demonstrate before, they do fold inwards to pretty much any angle, but as you can tell, because the hinge is much smaller, they really can't fold outwards or bend outwards like the clear pair can. So I would say the clear pair are for bigger heads and the gray pair are for maybe smaller heads and medium sized heads. If we actually look at each box here, it's actually kind of difficult to tell a difference between the pair. Neither box says anything about sizing or who they're meant for. All they say is that they're meant for playing video games, looking at the computer screen, looking at your laptop, your cell phone for long periods of time. They don't differentiate themselves. So technically you could actually walk into the store and confuse one for the other and think no more or no less, right? So let's go ahead and just see how each pair fits on my head. Now I have a pretty normal size head. Uh, I don't expect there to be a problem here, but I could expect someone who is much larger than me to need the pair that can stretch outwards. But let's go ahead and try the clear pair here. I'm gonna go ahead and give you just my first impressions and you can pretty much tell me uh, what these look like on my face. What I can say is that they're actually pretty comfortable. Uh, the blue light uh, is kind of hard to make out, but I think it's going to be uh, more discernible once we get in front of a computer monitor. Uh, but it's pretty much clear, there's no magnification, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, it is just a blue light glass. But uh, they are lightweight and comfortable, and they fit me fairly well. They don't feel like they're gonna fall off. Uh, and I don't feel like these are maybe too big or too small. I think they're actually perfectly in the middle, but you be the judge of that. You can pretty much uh, tell if these would fit you or not. So uh, just let's do a little bit of a side profile here. You can see that if someone was approaching you in the office, uh, they would probably question why you're wearing a pair of glasses like that. But that's where, like I said, this gray pair comes in. So if you are someone who just has a normal size head like me, what's nice is you do get the option of either the clear or the gray. So let's go ahead and try the gray on. Now I will say that these do feel a little bit different, but uh, they are still extremely comfortable. They're lightweight. Uh, you can definitely tell they are blue light glasses by looking through the lenses. They're not that discernible now, but we're definitely gonna have to test them out with the computer monitor to see uh, just how well they work. But as you can see, these are much more normal looking. They look like a regular pair of glasses that someone would own. And as you can see, I think what really uh, contributes to that belief is the fact that they are gray on the arms. Now, here is where I think you'll take full advantage of the blue light glasses. I can definitely see yourself coming home after work and maybe sitting on the laptop for a couple of hours, checking up on social media, replying to emails, things like that. Maybe using your cell phone or maybe looking at your iPad, maybe you're catching up on the news, uh, browsing the web, playing a game, uh, but here is where I think, like I said, you'll spend most of your time and where these will come in handy the most. Now, uh, a couple of things I wanna just quickly mention here is this is an extremely high contrast display. Uh, this is a Retina 5K display. And as you can see, there's beautiful color here. And the one thing I actually just wanna quickly note is that none of these colors look any different from whether or not I have the glasses off or 
on. There's actually no discernible difference. And that's extremely important because if you're doing creative work like myself, like if you're in Final Cut Pro editing a video and maybe you have to do a little bit of color grading here, like let's go ahead and just adjust the exposure. Uh, you're not going to make a mistake color grading just because these are blue light glasses. The good news here is that that has no effect on your decision making when doing creative work. So if I'm in Photoshop or if I'm in a Lightroom and I'm messing around with just some uh, color samples here, black and whites, what have you, everything looks exactly as if I never even had the glasses on, except what's really nice is these are actually protecting from harmful light. So uh, most importantly, uh, we're gonna be editing spreadsheets and, and typing emails and things like that. So uh, the reason why I have Best Buy's website up here is because it's actually an all white web page. It's mostly white. Uh, when you're in a darker application like Final Cut Pro, for example, uh, you can actually notice the blue light uh, having an effect when looking at an all white web page. Now it's not dramatic at all. Everything looks as if it was, you know, if I had these off, but I think here is where you're going to get more harmful light is when looking at an Excel sheet, which is all white, or if you're looking at an all white web page, like maybe if you're reading the news, like I know New York Times, for example, is a pretty much predominantly white web page. It has a white background. But when you're looking at uh, things like this for an extended period of time, this is where you'll want to have these on. And like I said, there's really uh, no discernible difference between having these on and off, but uh, I do feel more confident looking at something that is stark white for several hours if I needed to. Uh, and then last but not least, what I quickly just want to show you here is the different brands and styles of blue light glasses, because like I said at the beginning of the video, they no longer sell uh, this brand, uh, but you can actually find other really nice styles. Uh, like here is a style, this looks like it might be for women, but I think it could be for men too. It looks like it comes in a different uh, colorway here. You get black, you get pink, you get like a really nice clear colorway. And these actually are pretty much the same exact style, but you do get different colors and they are just a little bit different looking. But as you can see, they are $5.89 down from $10.99. So you still can find an affordable pair of glasses like this pretty much the same style but just not this brand so like i was saying earlier i think walmart sort of discontinued with this brand because it's really hard to discern whether or not this is for a big head or a small head like i said this is for a big head these pair are for a smaller head but uh, as you can see if you go onto what uh walmart's website you can pretty much find exactly what you're looking for and you can also find much more expensive pair too I think I found um, a $40 pair when I was looking earlier, but I can't find them right now. Let's see here if we can find them. Most of them are pretty reasonably priced though, uh, around $20 or less. So yeah, they have a great selection and they even have them for kids too, which is awesome. So yeah, I hope you like this first impressions and my report here is that these are actually pretty nice. Anyways guys, that has been an unboxing and a first impressions of the Wave Balance Blue Light Glasses. I picked up at Walmart for $16.88. Like I said at the beginning of the video, Walmart no longer sells this brand and I think that's because they are completely different glasses but they are the same style, shape, size, and weight and they also are the same price but they do fit different types of heads and they don't make that noted on either box. So I think that's why Walmart maybe pulled the plug on this brand, but you can still buy blue light glasses at Walmart. Some are much more expensive than $16.88, but I did find a pair for $11. So the good news here is you can still get an inexpensive pair that do look stylish from Walmart, just not this pair, uh, but without Further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and close out this video. I do really like this product. Uh, even though you can't tell the difference between the size, if you do have a normal size head like myself, uh, you will have no problem going with either the clear pair or the gray pair. 
As you all know, Americans are spending more and more time at their computers every day. Pretty much every office job now revolves around a computer as where maybe before it was filling out paperwork and the fact that Walmart does sell them for inexpensive uh, prices is even better. So anyways, guys, without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and close out this video. I really hope you enjoyed this unboxing and first impressions. I would say each pair looked great on me. I think they fit great too. They're comfortable, they're lightweight. They are a pretty decent quality. I would say that they're a pretty good quality actually. Uh, and because I picked them up at Walmart, that does make them a big box good. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. If you wanna see more content like this, hit that like button, subscribe. Thanks again so much for tuning in. My name is John. I will see you in the next one.